When in doubt, my country first. All the right-wing parties can agree on this formula when it comes to the EU. But what does that mean for the single currency, the euro, introduced in 1999 and now used by 23 countries? Some, such as the German AFD, say that the EU pumps billions of euros every day through the European Central Bank from the rich EU member states to distressed states, for example by loans whose interest rates are way too low. The AFD considers this to be illegal and accuses the EU of behaving like a federal state in monetary matters and not like an association of sovereign member states. The Euro Rescue alone has cost the German pension system hundreds of billions of euros, they argue. In addition, they assert that the EU wants to abolish cash. The AFD therefore wants to terminate this so-called transfer union and reintroduce their former national currency, the Deutschmark. Other right-wing parties, on the other hand, have over the years given up their fight against the euro. In Austria, for example, the FPÖ is only turning against the misinterpretation of the single currency by the European Central Bank. Their position is that the southern European countries should no longer receive cheap loans from the ECB. They want to reform the euro rather than do away with it. In France as well, little has remained of the strict opposition to the euro. Marine Le Pen of the Rassemblement National, formerly the Front National, still said in 2000 2017 that 70 percent of her projects would not be possible without the euro and her party's european election program states that the euro as it works today clearly serves germany's interests at the expense of most other eurozone countries but france's far right no longer demands serious consequences for these accusations analysts have found that the frexit threats have done le pen enormous damage during the 2017 election campaign her rn party is there therefore no longer calling for the withdrawal from the single European currency. In Italy, Interior Minister Salvini has long said that he wanted to get rid of the euro. Now that he has won the budget dispute with the EU Commission and the country is allowed to incur enormous new debts, there is no longer any talk of Italy doing away with the euro. No wonder. It would make their current debt considerably more expensive and the right-wing government would no longer be able to pay for its social programs. Whether in agriculture, road construction or schools, the EU is a huge redistribution machine. Money flows mainly from the rich to the less rich countries of Europe. The right-wing parties in rich countries, such as the AFD in Germany or the FPÖ in Austria, see this as an expropriation of their national taxpayers' money and want to severely restrict these transfers. But 16 of the 28 EU states benefit greatly from these transfers. On the other hand, the two most vocal critics of the EU, Hungary and Poland, together received almost 12 billion euros more from Brussels than they paid in in 2017. So it is no wonder that they don't want to fight the transfer union, but instead preserve it so that Brussels can continue to redistribute money to their countries in the future. This conflict of interest will not be able to be resolved by Europe's far-right parties.